do you want to know one of the critical things for your social media's success? Stay tuned, I'm going to explain exactly what it is. Hey, it's Philip here, The Curly Marketer, and today it actually is going to be the first of a couple of videos because I wanted to talk to you about something that a lot of businesses forget to do when they're setting up their social media, but which is extremely and I suppose critically important, and it is essentially creating a strategy. You know, at the end of the day, yes, it doesn't sound sexy, it's not like some fancy new um, uh, piece of kit or software, uh, but it is something that's fundamental both for social media, marketing, any business, is that you need to lay down the foundations of a strategic kind of, I suppose, direction. What way are you going to be taking your business forward? And especially on social media, you need to have a very good understanding as to what you want to achieve with social media and where best to use it for your strategic um, objectives. So, as I said, this is going to be the first video, uh, and I'm going to do a couple of videos where I'm going to take you through the steps that I use, uh, and these are my kind of uh, way that I do it, to create a social media strategy. Um, and I hope you find this useful. So, in this first video, I wanted to talk about a situational analysis. And now, what is that? You know, well, in effect, it's where, as a business, you need to take a step back and really kind of look inward as to where you are at. You know, kind of, um, who are your existing customers? Who is your existing target audience? You know, do you know what kind of, um, from a customer perspective, of why they use your business over maybe a competitor? You know, is there similarities then between, I suppose, the type of people that do business with you aligned with your target audience? You know, have you done a full review of the products and services that you offer? As in, do you feel that social media is going to be right for every product and service? Or is there maybe two or three core products and services where you feel social media can really be um, a key benefit to you? Because at the end of the day, you need to create a focus as to exactly where you want to drive your business going forward. You know, another good thing that you need to be doing is looking at a content audit. You know, what marketing have you done to date? You know, what has worked, what has not worked? And because at the end of the day, when you know kind of what is working, you can then amplify and build on that. But if you continue to use marketing, uh, whether it be traditional advertising or maybe potential some social media that you had been dabbling in, if you're finding that they're not working, drill down to find out is there a reason why? And if there is, can a solution be actually presented? Or is it just case that that particular marketing channel, medium, etc., is just completely wrong for your target audience. I think the next kind of critical thing is is to look at your objectives. You know, what are your, are the objectives that you set up to this point for the business? You know, have you achieved them? And then ultimately, then is kind of looking forward to I suppose the next stage uh, as to well, what are the objectives going forward? But I think trying to get an understanding as to you know you know what had you set out as being something that you really want to achieve and had the plan of action that you've put in place, has it actually kind of allowed you to achieve those goals? You know, I mentioned in another video um, about the SWOT analysis, you know, and I think this is a really critical kind of part for any business to do, you know, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, because when you're building out a strategy, you obviously want to know what the strengths of the business are, because once you know that, there are things that you can build content around to promote via social media, via email, and via one-to-one -one networking. But in, a, in another framework, when you understand the weaknesses of your business, and particularly maybe from a digital point of view, like if you are finding that maybe, as a lot of companies are now finding, that customers want to have engagement and, I suppose, customer service via some social media channels, if you find that actually that could be a weakness for you, well then it's better to know that now and strategically plan for that rather than kind of go off um, with no real direction and suddenly find that customers are getting irate because they're even tweeting you or maybe they're Facebook messaging you uh, with complaints or queries and you just don't have the strategy in place to manage that. You know, look at opportunities. Once again, you know, is there an opportunity for you by being on social, 
that you suddenly get a competitive edge over your competitors. So once again, you know, flowing this into a, maybe a competitor analysis, you know, you know, look at what your competitors are doing, you know, see those opportunities as in, well, my competitors really aren't on the social media channels. Here's an opportunity for me now to present my products and services in a social arena and obviously begin to follow my customers and my prospects to create social engagement. And I think really, you know, it's, it's very important that from a strategic point that rather than trying to rush in and try and be on every channel, you need to just kind of take a step back and kind of ultimately kind of look at where the business has got to and where are your plans for going forward. Because if you've made mistakes up to now, you obviously don't want to repeat those. You want to try and learn and understand maybe why something did not work, as well as try and understand why something did work. So I hope you found that curly marketer tip useful. As I said, that stage one is this situation analysis. Take that step back and review the business. Um, next video, I'll be talking about the next step, but I'm going to keep it a secret so that you come back and watch the next one. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this curly marketer tip. You can follow me on Twitter at Pete Wyford. You know, do connect with me on LinkedIn and my blog is over on the curlymarketer.com. And I'll see you again soon for another curly marketer tip. Take care.